In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will take a look at system of coplanar forces, wherein we will learn the method to find the resultant of general force systems. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. In a general force system, coplanar forces are neither meeting at a single point nor are parallel to each other. The resultant of such a force system is defined according to magnitude, inclination and position. The steps used to find the resultant of a general force system are as follows. First, all the inclined forces are resolved along the horizontal x direction and the vertical y direction. The magnitude of the resultant is found by calculating the components of the force in x and y directions respectively. Then, we find the inclination of the resultant with respect to the horizontal with the formula tan theta is equal to component of resultant in y direction to the component in x direction. The position of the resultant can be found by using the principle of moments that is by using the formula moment of resultant about any point is equivalent to the summation of the moments of all the forces about the same point. Thus we can completely define the resultant of a general force system. Let's consider the following problem. Determine the resultant of four forces tangential to the circle of radius 2 meters as shown. Calculate the resultant and its location with respect to the center of the circle. We will first resolve all the inclined forces into components along the x-axis and y-axis respectively. After that, we find the summation of the forces along the horizontal and vertical axis respectively that is the horizontal and the vertical component of the resultant. Then we can find the magnitude of the resultant using this formula. We can then easily find the inclination theta of the resultant with the horizontal axis. Now we have to find the exact location of the resultant from the center of the circle. For that purpose we will use the Varignan's theorem. On substituting the values and then simplifying we find that the resultant acts a distance of 2.718 meters to the left of O. Thus, we have calculated the resultant to be equal to 44.14 kN at an inclination of 34.87 degrees, located at a perpendicular distance of 2.718 meters to the left of O. Now let's take a look at this problem. Find the resultant of the force system acting on a body O, A, B, C shown in the figure. Find the distance of the resultant from O. Also find the points where the resultant will cut the x-axis and y-axis. We will first find the inclination of the inclined 60 kN force so as to resolve it. We can now resolve it along the x-axis and y-axis as shown. After that, we find the summation of the forces along the horizontal and vertical axis respectively. That is, the horizontal and the vertical component of the resultant. Then, we can find the magnitude of the resultant using this formula. We can then easily find the inclination theta of the resultant with the horizontal axis. Now we have to find the exact location of the resultant from the point O. For that purpose, we will use Varignan's theorem. We will first find the summation of moments of all forces about the point O. On equating this with the moment of resultant about point O, we find that the resultant acts a distance of 0 0.667 meters to the right of O. Thus, we have calculated the resultant to be equal to 30 kN at an inclination of 36.87 degrees located at a perpendicular distance of 0 0.667 meters to the right of O. Next, we have to find the x and y intercept of the resultant. The y coordinate is calculated using the x component of the resultant and the x coordinate is calculated using the y component of the resultant. Hence, we find the y-intercept of the resultant to be 0 0.833 meters below point O and the x-intercept 
to be 1.11 meters to the right of point O. Now let's consider this problem. Replace the force system shown by single force acting at the origin and couple. We will first resolve the inclined force along the x-axis and y-axis as shown. After that, we find the summation of the forces along the horizontal and vertical axis respectively. That is, the horizontal and the vertical component of the resultant. Then, we can find the magnitude of the resultant using this formula. We can then easily find the inclination theta of the resultant with the horizontal axis. Now, we have to find the exact location of the resultant from the point O. For that purpose, we will use Varignan's theorem. We will first find the summation of moments of all forces about the point O. On equating this with the moment of resultant about the point O, we find that the resultant acts a distance of 3.89 meters to the left of O. Since the resultant force is desired to be located at O, we need to shift the resultant from its present position to O. This will require introducing a couple M in the system, which is equal to the moment of the resultant about point O. On simplifying, this is calculated to be 762.95 Newton meters in clockwise sense. Therefore, the given system can be replaced at O by a single force resultant of 195.97 newtons acting at an angle of 19.01 degrees and a clockwise couple m of 762.95 newton meters let's have a quick review of what we've studied in this lecture we learned to find the resultant of non-concurrent non-parallel force system that is general force system the resultant of a general force system is defined according to magnitude, inclination and position. Then we solved a few problems where we learned to find the resultant and then its position from a fixed point. Also we saw the method to find the x and y intercepts of the resultant. Finally we saw how to replace a general force system to a force couple system at a point.